Welcome to another Nord's Tech Tip. In this video, we're going to talk about something that I think many of you have been waiting for, the error code 90. This error code is a combustion abnormality and is one of the more common error codes because it's sort of a catch-all error code. What I mean by that is there are a number of things that can cause poor or abnormal combustion in a unit. I'll try to cover some of the more common things, some of which are easy enough for you, the owner of the unit, to troubleshoot and correct. To start off with, the two conditions that will trigger a 90 code are the unit not hitting the set temperature or the fan in the unit is overcorrecting. In simple terms, that means the fan is working harder than it's supposed to for a given demand. Luckily, both of these conditions can be monitored using maintenance monitors. If you want to learn more about those maintenance monitors, check out the video link in the description. Now wait just a minute, you might say. I thought you said there were a number of causes for abnormal combustion. Now you're saying there's just two? Well, what I mean by that is there are a number of causes that can trigger either or sometimes both of those conditions to occur in the unit. Troubleshooting begins with running the heater with the cover on and trying to use the same fixture or combination of fixtures that usually cause the 90 code. Now you can check maintenance monitor 31 for the hot water temperature. Under normal circumstances, it should show one or two degrees above or below the set temperature. If the temperature showing is considerably lower than the set point, this is likely the cause of the error code 90. To check the fan speed for overcorrection, go to maintenance monitor 49. Under normal circumstances, it should show 100, meaning the fan is running at 100%. If it shows a higher number, for example, 109, it means the fan is operating at 109% and is trying to overcome an obstruction. It's good practice to check both maintenance monitors even if the first one you check shows a problem. It's unlikely, but still possible, you could be dealing with both conditions as the cause of the error code 90. Maintenance monitor 49 for fan speed only applies to the traditional units with the off-white or stainless steel case. Premix models like the EZ series or NRCR do not have a maintenance monitor 49. Premix units have a different combustion process and 90 codes are triggered if the unit is not hitting the set temperature which is checked with maintenance monitor 31. Now that you know what's triggering the 90 code, let's talk about some of the causes for both conditions. When the unit is not hitting set temperature, it usually means there's insufficient gas entering the burner and thus the unit cannot heat the water properly. On new installations, the most common cause is an undersized gas line or too small of a gas meter resulting in the unit not getting enough gas. Make sure the gas line sizing information found in the manual is followed. When wrapping up a new installation, it's important to stress test the gas system by not only running the tanklets at a high demand, but also running other gas appliances at the same time to simulate the worst case scenario. If all gas appliances, including the tankless, operate normally after a few minutes of testing, you can be much more confident leaving the job knowing everything is working properly. For existing older installations, common causes for not hitting temperature is a dirty burner, gas manifold, or manifold pressures that have fallen out of spec. The gas system can still be a cause if there was any modification to the gas system, such as a repair or replacing a gas appliance with one that uses more gas than the previous appliance. This is rather quick to check by using a digital manometer to verify the inlet gas pressure to the unit always stays above the minimum requirement. Cleaning a dirty unit involves taking off parts of the internal gas system and is usually best left to a professional that regularly deals with gas appliances and knows how to safely work on them. Incorrect reassembly of the unit after cleaning can lead to worse problems than the error code 90 you were trying to correct. For new installations that show the fan is overcorrecting, you'd want to check all things related to the venting, termination, and dip switch settings. An overcorrecting fan is the heater's way of telling you it can't breathe properly, so you need to check all aspects that affect the unit's ability to pull in fresh air or remove the exhaust. Depending on the size, length, and number of elbows used in the venting, certain dip switches in the unit will need to be turned on. Also, make sure that the size and length of venting used falls within the acceptable lengths allowed in the installation manual. There is no combination of dip switch settings that can correct for a vent that is too small a diameter, too long, or too many elbows. 
That's why it's incredibly important to read the manual before installation so you are aware of everything needed to perform a correct installation. Assuming the vent size, length, elbow count, and dip switches are all correct, you might have a termination that is too restrictive. Make sure you are terminating the venting in an approved manner, once again by referring to the installation manual. For existing older installations that show the fan is overcorrecting, you could be dealing with a dirty fan, burner, heat exchanger fins, or vent terminations. The easiest thing to check first is the venting terminations, especially if the unit is single vent or single vent converted with the conversion kit. That means fresh air is drawn in right at the unit and should be pretty easy to identify. Commonly, the front cover intake or the SV conversion piece have accumulated enough buildup that the unit cannot pull in enough fresh air. Simply cleaning these with a strong vacuum or an air compressor may resolve the issue. If simply cleaning the air intake doesn't resolve the 90 code, a more in-depth cleaning of the fan and burner may be needed. The intake screens cannot stop 100% of air contaminants and some will make their way into other parts of the unit. Once again, this is a fairly advanced service item that should be left to a professional. As mentioned before, pre-mix units like the Easy Series do not have a maintenance monitor 49, so 90 codes are caused by the unit not hitting the set temperature. However, due to the design of pre-mix units, venting issues like I just talked about can cause the unit to not hit set temperature. Of course, Insufficient pressures can also be the cause with premix units. On a new installation of a premix unit, make sure the gas pressure at the inlet of the unit is above the minimum requirement under all conditions. This involves running the unit at a high flow rate and turning on other gas appliances, such as the heating system, oven, or anything else that's commonly used. If the inlet pressure falls below the minimum requirement, you'll have to take a close look at the gas system and determine what the cause of restriction is. If the inlet gas pressures are above the minimum required at all times, you're likely looking at an issue with the venting, termination, dip switches, or condensate drain line. Make sure the guidelines in the installation manual regarding venting limitations are followed. Assuming they are, also make sure you've correctly set the dip switches according to how it's vented. Check that the intake and exhaust terminations are done with approved terminations. Also make sure the condensate drain line under the unit is the correct size, routed properly according to the guidelines in the manual and that the end of the drain line is not submerged in water. For existing older installations of premix units, you're still going to check all of the previously mentioned items. However, you're mostly looking for a buildup of dirt, lint, leaves, or other debris that have now obstructed the venting of the unit. Clean any debris from terminations and make sure the condensate drain line is still free of any obstructions. If cleaning those items does not resolve the 90 code, a deeper cleaning of the fan and burner may need to be done by a professional. I hope this video has been helpful in understanding some of the common causes of the 90 error code. We do have a selection of cleaning and maintenance videos on our YouTube page meant to be used as an easy reference for professionals. If you own one of our tankless units and prefer to take a DIY approach to things, much like myself, feel free to check out those videos and assess your own comfort level. Now, of course, I do have to say this. Should you choose to service your own Nortz unit and something else is damaged or something else goes wrong, that would not be covered by any remaining warranty you have on your unit as it's not considered a manufactured defect. I'm not saying this to scare or discourage you. I just want to really drive home the point that servicing your own gas appliance has its own risk first reward, so it's not something you should take lightly. With that said, Thank you for watching, and please consider liking and subscribing if you found this helpful.